I'm Eli Hesterman. I'm a professor in the biology department, and my student Lauren Fraser did cancer research last summer. Yeah, so this research has uh, been funded by the National Cancer Institute and some other uh, programs, the Merck and the American Association for the Advancement of Science. And for the last couple of years, we've been really interested in the interaction of hormones and environmental toxicants in breast cancer. And so that fortunately, uh, that work has been, has been going well. And the specific work that, that Lauren talked about in the piece that she wrote is a collaboration with a group at Boston University to look at very aggressive forms of breast cancer and try to uncover the pathways by which they develop. Okay, this specific um, project was, was initiated by the group at Boston University, but they needed some help with some techniques that they don't perform up there. And, and they got in touch with me and said, and said would you be willing to do this? And it, it's a perfect project for, for somebody like Lauren to come in for the summer and do research and then continue on into the school year. And, and produce the data that is the critical data that they need for that paper that they're putting together. Um, so we got that, that last figure that they needed for this publication, and we're going to send that off soon to, to um, advance what's known about these forms of breast cancer and, and how they form. Um, Lauren's work was, was really critical in, in establishing the link um, that is there and it's, it's a wonderful opportunity for an undergraduate student um, to, to do that type of research and get it published. So, like I said, um, it, it's a, a, a friend of mine and I um, that got together and decided to, to work on this project, and it's a technique that's, that's very delicate to, to do, and not many labs in the country know how to do it. And um, I, when I came to Furman, I'd been doing this, and so I brought that with me. And I really set Lauren up and, and showed her how to do it and, and gave her the, the research question, but then she took off with it and designed her own experiments and set up her own procedures and, and you know, with supervision, really was able to, to do the research in, in a way that was, that was really professional. Um, this is a, a fantastic opportunity. She's actually going into um, medical school, and so it's given her an opportunity to see firsthand how the knowledge that doctors rely on has been generated. So, you know, when they, when they see research and they're developing new treatments for different types of cancer to see, you know, what was the underlying basic research that produced this, I think it gives her a much clearer understanding of how that goes on. Um, other students who have done similar types of research and have, and have decided to, to go on, um, not into treating patients, but into doing medical research themselves, um, have found a warm welcome from graduate schools all over the country. Um, this type of, of experience that they get here is, is really relatively rare. And in fact, I've had students recruited um, by graduate programs to, to bring the things they've learned here with them, uh, which is almost unheard of. Yeah, the, the really neat thing, there, there are two basic forms of breast cancer, and there's the, the main type, which you see most often, requires the hormone estrogen for continued growth. And we actually treat that pretty well and have an idea of, of how best to, to treat patients in a way that, that isn't very invasive and, and, and isn't done very well. The other form of, or I mean, is, is done very well. Um, the other form of cancer is, is um, not dependent on the estrogen receptor. It's much more aggressive um, and, and causes much uh, worse effects in the patients, and we actually don't know how to treat that one as well, even though that's, that's oftentimes the, the deadlier form of the cancer. And so this research that we did is addressing specifically that form of cancer and looking at some of the mechanisms by which it develops in the first place. And the, the hope is that if we can interrupt that cycle by which it develops, those tumors, um, that we can get to those cancers before they even begin. And, and it's really as much about prevention of cancer, preventing cancer it is, as it is about treatment. <laughs> right, I don't know if, you, if you're getting them. So the, the research is, um, is continuing. Um, this has been an ongoing project for the last two or three years, and we have students again in the lab. I have four students working with me this summer, continuing that specific project as well as others. And so this is, you know, obviously we're, we're still working towards a cure for breast cancer, or many cures for many different types of breast cancer. And so there's some wonderful opportunities there for students to, to still come in and do research. And we're looking forward to doing that um, in our new facilities, uh, which are being constructed right now. So this is some of the um, new laboratory space in the, the renovated facilities. Actually, this is the expansion wing here. Um, so this is going to be a, a biology research area here in the future. You can see the lab benches beginning to take space. 
take shape. Um, and you can see that these you have this, this beautiful space here. Um, we have, you have nice light coming in. These, these are really going to be gorgeous spaces. Every time I bring a group of students over here or the faculty come and take a look, you can really see their eyes light up as they imagine what it's going to be like to work in this space. Um, you compare it to the, to the noisy area where we were working um, just a moment ago, and this, this, is going to, this is going to really widen things up.